How's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and today is Wednesday, aka Advice Wednesday, so I'm having my dad on for a dual commentary to give you guys some advice from some questions you guys have sent in. So dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up Quad Squad? It's the Quad Father here, and this is one of my favorite things to do to try to help people out. So, Oh yeah, I'm, I mean, this is what we were made for. I mean, technically, absolutely. right? You know, people are made to help out other people. Absolutely, and you always feel better when you're helping other people, so. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't deny that, even if you're a, a mean, ugly person who hates other people. I mean, even when you help people, it feels good. I mean, maybe if you're not some demonic devil worshiper or something like that, but sure. you know, that that's definitely not the minority, or that is the minority. <laughs> All right, yep. well, let's get to helping some guys. All right, let's what kind of questions we got tonight? Right here with the first question. It says, Quad MFT and Quad Father, I've been having a problem lately trying to organize all my events and use time effectively or efficiently. And most of the time, I have a big project project and i end up putting it off to play cod or talk to friends and i usually end up trying to do it last minute and pissing off people for breaking plans i made please help i i, I fall into this category too sometimes yeah i think i think david and i have a lot in common yeah yeah exactly well, you name him david i see yeah well that, you that's know. not his actual name or at least i, I don't hope so <laughs> i could get I could get lucky on it you never yeah. know <laughs> you know what organization is a really really difficult thing sometimes time and, management too yeah and and you know because we're so busy these days we've got all these other obligations we've got homework we've got family we've got friends we've got entertainment you know a lot of times people want to take mm -hmm. their entertainment before they do their work i i do the same to be honest i'll, I'll yeah. skip cod for doing a few math problems you know but, to be honest but i think about this i think about anything that i put off anything that i procrastinate i'm actually being mean to my future self that, that's kind of true you're kind of you know hurting your future well not necessarily hurting your future just no, making it a little bit harder on your future on your future self yeah, so yeah think about it's it. yourself too you're being mean to yourself by taking the fun now and making the work later yeah and, and so i always like to get it done a little bit at a time like mm -hmm. i'll do something and then i'll take a little break and do something and take yeah, a little yeah, break you know you yeah that could lengthen the time a little bit but you yeah. know for your time management i'd say it's just gotta kind of gotta be all, all in your head it's really all in your head it's all mm -hmm. about focusing it's it is that's it is about you, focus. the mental focus but also you want to make sure that you write down what you're doing your that helps planning out your time putting event putting events out you know recently i've been starting to add more events to my calendar on my phone like oh yeah because tomorrow actually well today by the time i'm posting this video i have to go in at spanish and reorganize the whole folder and do stuff because i missed a day of a week or a week or two ago so you know it's not going to be that hard but it's something that you got to do that even if i were to just you know hang out with my friends at lunch and completely procrastinate the whole situation that would suck yeah and i think i think if you if you write things down and also give yourself a reward yeah you know, the best grades i ever got in college was when i would i had a buddy and I, we would study together and then by eight or nine o'clock we'd be like all right let's go out and yeah. we, we could go out without a guilty conscience because i've because been you just out, studied yeah and i i've gone out before doing my homework and doing my responsibilities doesn't feel good no i don't enjoy it as much mm -mm. you know and so i i always try to be nice to my uh, future self yeah. by you know doing what I need to do now and preparing yeah and having my fun a little bit later and managing your time all right so the second question we're moving right along dad you want to name this guy before I say the question yes this is Ricardo all right Ricardo what's up dude I have a YouTube channel with 113 subs and 11,000 views I know I'm small my channel has been based around Call of Duty since I started half a year ago, but I'm now bored of Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty in general. I feel like millions of people have already have already Let's Plays on games and I have no ideas for videos. How do you think of your video ideas? Well, I, to be honest, I don't like think about them. I don't have like a whole like notepad full of different lists of different commentary ideas, live comms, different things my dad and I should talk about for Advice Wednesday or Father Sunday, our weekly series or double weekly series. But... I, I kind of just do what's on my mind, and that's really the thing that makes you unique. I think I think as long as you're using stuff that comes from your own personal life, you'll be unique. Oh, you because no one can really you know replicate your life. Right, but I mean, if you're just doing you know this gun, that gun, you're and you really don't like it, you're gonna get bored. That's gonna communicate to your viewers, and they're act, they're not gonna be interested in what you're saying. Yeah. Whereas if you use your own stuff in your life, things you've gone through, like you just did the fake people versus real people, I'm sure that came from your life. Yeah, exactly. Of course, it was something that you know I said it had inspired me. It, it kind of had. I mean, there's. There's no way to really deny that it had inspired me to do that, whether it be in real life or doing it online. You know, it doesn't right. really matter. It still inspired me. So use use your own experiences, and 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 then it'll be authentic, and people will listen to you. Unique. Yep. Yep. And and also, I think 
keep do stuff that's having fun. If, follow whatever you like that's having fun. I mean, if you you're look, having fun, if you enjoy the video on your own, your audience is going to enjoy it. Yeah, I think if you look at the big guys, you know, uh, Syndicate, White Boy, Captain Sparkles, yep. everybody like that, who even have second channels like TB and our frags, those guys mm -hmm. are having a lot of fun on Minecraft or little mini games like PewDiePie. You know, PewDiePie doesn't play Call of Duty or any main game he bases his channel off. He does a bunch of different games that he knows he's going to have a blast in. Yeah, and look at look at the way White Boy started and the way Woody started, and then they changed. They followed yeah. what they enjoyed because they figured if they were having fun, other people would probably have fun doing the same thing as they did. Mm -hmm. so, but if you're not enjoying Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts especially right now, you know, you may want to wait a little bit and see what you think of the next Call of Duty, whether it be Black Ops 3 or whatever it's going to be. Just do what you're enjoying. If you're enjoying GTA, upload GTA. If you're enjoying Minecraft, upload Minecraft. And do it all for fun because if, if you're not enjoying yourself, this becomes a job. And, and that's... That's, nobody, yeah, yeah nobody. Yeah, wants that's that. just not fun. No. All right, you guys want to move on to the next question, Dad? Let's do it. Let's name him before. What's his name? Uh, Bernadette. Bernadette. All right, I think that's a girl's name from the Big Bang Theory. Oh. But uh, let's move on. This one says: right, So Bernie. my friend and his girlfriend have been going out for over a year, and I still haven't gone on a date or kissed over a year. Wow, are you in the third grade? Not patient, to be rude, patient, but uh, I patient. got a girlfriend, and she and I are very happy together. I'm good friends with my friend's girlfriend, and her boyfriend will not do anything with her, so I decided to arrange a double date to a water park, and he boycotted the date, so I'm now stuck with my GF and his GF at the water park. So you're writing this right now. That's, it's a little oh. bit late now. <laughs> wow. but, uh, but he says, but all I ever get from his GF is that he won't text her back, won't kiss him. He is, he is backed out of kisses with her so so many times. Back to subject. How do I help a relationship in mine at the same time? Yours faithfully, Jorge. Oh. We, we are all around 13 and 14 and live in the UK. Goodbye. All right, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. How, the question really is, how did they help? His... Thirteen and fourteen is my age. I'm yeah. fourteen years. Well, I'll be fifteen on March sixth, right. but I, I'm still fourteen year old uh, right now. So I'm still experiencing. I have friends that are fourteen still. So how do you? So the question is, how does he help his relationship and his buddy's relationship with the girls? I don't think he can help his relationship with his friends. You can't help either, to no. be honest. No, he I, can help you, his own. If you're stuck in both relationships where you guys won't do anything, I have a similar relationship with one of my close friends in life uh -huh. who his girlfriend won't do anything with him, which just absolutely sucks. I mean, there's there's no way to advance the relationship. Well, and it's I true, think, right? I think, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, think, I think it kind of goes to the age that they are. Yeah, you know, it's, 13 it's not and like 14. they can hop in the car and drive around. Of or, course, you know, do do all the, the variety of things you can do when you're older. But I but think, I'm sure the girl would do that if she, or she wouldn't do that even if she could. Is the way she's basically putting it out there, disregarding age it takes to drive a car. Well, okay, so what's the point of having a girlfriend? I mean, it's it's exactly. A, I mean, if this was a, switch it all up, take all the girls part out of it. If this was a guy. You'd stop hanging out with him. If you wouldn't want to go out and do stuff, you just right. wouldn't talk to him. I mean, that's not a friend. How could you be friends with him if you're not actually doing things that are entertaining? Exactly. There's no way of doing that. No, and I, so I don't think this guy can help his friend's relationship with his girlfriend because it doesn't Maybe sound like they his? have one. Maybe. He can. Yeah, he, because it sounds like his girlfriend went to the water park with him. They had a good time. Mm -hmm. So just, I say, focus on your relationship with your buddy. Yep. And focus on your relationship with the girl. There I you mean, go. Your own girl. You can't this this random girl that won't go to the water park will, and he won't text her back. Obviously, he doesn't want to be in a relationship. And you with say her. it's been over a year. They, it's yeah. it's time to break up. I'm afraid my friend's relationship is going to turn into that. Hopefully, it won't. You know, he's smarter well, than that, and most I'm sure she is too. End in high school. Oh, really, oh most yeah. I mean, well, I, I read a quote today that kind of reminds me of this whole conversation and right. this whole situation going on. It said, "Don't take life so seriously." Nobody makes it out alive. Right, right. And I say enjoy the moment. Whenever you're in it, yep. wherever you are, because most of people's struggles in life, just, they come from things that, that the hurt from the past or the worries about the future. But yep. right now, they're exactly right this second is okay. So uh -huh. enjoy it while you have it and don't stress about the future and don't, don't be, don't deal with your pet your hurts from the past yeah exactly you so, know just just focus on now that's all you can really do to help yourself and hopefully you can help your friend too but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below let's shoot for 225 likes on this video we are going to be live streaming right now in a few hours so make sure to go and follow us down on twitch my dad's twitter will also be down there below we're good we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways on there two or three giveaways and maybe control freaks xbox cards psn cards steam cards lots of stuff going on there it's really fun we got a lot of slots you guys can buy Make sure to subscribe if you're new. It's been Quadum FT and the Quad Father, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you at the water park.